What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles and today I want to talk about canceling a credit card and I want to give you my five reasons I canceled my American Express Business Marriott Bonvoy card. Now I have made a couple videos about the American Express Business Marriott Bonvoy card and how great of a card it is. I really hold this card in high regard and I think for a lot of people it makes a lot of sense has great bonus categories and a free night certificate. So it's a keeper card, right? Well, maybe not. I canceled mine and this is why. But first, if you are a subscriber, I thank you for being one. If you are new to the channel, we talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, and travel rewards. If you're interested in that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button. We are a young and growing channel and it's a very exciting time to jump on board. If at any time during this video, you get any value or entertainment, please hit the like button. It really does help with our YouTube algorithm and it helps get this information out to other people who can benefit from it. I always think it's interesting to see different perspectives from different people on different credit cards. You will also notice that we have an Instagram and a Facebook page. Our Instagram, we post a lot of travel photos and funny memes. On our Facebook page, we post a lot of credit card and travel news, and it's a great place for you to ask a question and get a timely response. So check us out on socials if you have the time. Also, we have a lot of links in our description below. We have everything from credit card referrals to ways to get very cheap airfare and cashback shopping portals. Check those out. You'll be supporting the channel and I will greatly appreciate it. Now, I know your time is the most valuable thing you have right now and you are spending it with us, so I don't want to waste it. Let's get right to it. Reason number one, I canceled my Marriott business card. This reason is personal. We had a bad experience at a Marriott property that led to a bad experience with Marriott. I don't want to get into specifics with the property or the exact issue, but I felt myself and my five-year-old were treated poorly by the staff and neither the hotel nor Marriott themselves wanted to make any concessions, uh, apologies, or provide any compensation. Now, I'm not Karen and I don't need anything other than basic human needs at a hotel. So it's not something like that. It's not a frivolous complaint. But if we don't get the very basic minimum service that I feel like we paid for, something should be done about that. And I understand the understaffing issues, but I also understand that I don't need to have any one-way loyalty with a hotel that doesn't value me as a customer. So in short, we were not provided basic services and we had a fairly rough time at this hotel and no one seemed to care or do anything about it, including Marriott themselves. We all fall victim to personal bias, even when it comes to money and business issues. So Marriott put a bad taste in my mouth and it is one factor that led to the cancellation of the car. Reason number two, Hilton is my primary hotel loyalty program. I thought it might be beneficial to try to have two primary loyalty programs and have all those really good options. It just did not work out for me. The biggest reason why Hilton is my preferred loyalty program is the Hilton Aspire card. It is a super card. Having the highest status and the unlimited free night is a lot better than anything the Marriott business card can provide right now. With Marriott set to raise redemption prices, it just doesn't pay for me to use my resources to use their loyalty program at this time. In summary, I like the Hilton program better. Number three, I don't use the card. The bonus categories are fantastic, but as someone with a ton of credit cards, I can generally do better with another card in most of those categories. I also earn a ton of American Express membership rewards points that I can always transfer to Marriott if it was ever a good idea. It's normally not. I didn't even use the Marriott card for Marriott properties as I normally book my Marriott's with either Marriott points or through the American Express Fine Hotels and Resorts program. The card doesn't give me any perks as far as status because I'm an American Express Platinum card holder and at the end of the day, I can still stay at the Ritz-Carlton 
and enjoy gold elite status without ever having the Marriott business card. Number four, I acquired the Capital One VentureX card. So while my primary loyalty program will continue to be Hilton, at least in year 2022, I'm gonna be using the Capital One travel portal for my free agent stays at boutique hotels or cheap road trip stays. So I don't need a ton of different hotel cards. The Capital One Venture X earns 10 times miles on hotels booked through their portal. So I think that's an opportunity I'll be looking more closely at and less likely to book Marriott properties. Now, number five, and most likely the main reason why I canceled this card is basic opportunity. I don't need to pay $125 a year for a card I don't use. But not only that, American Express limits the number of credit cards one can hold with them, and I'm at my limit with the Marriott business card. Canceling a card I don't use will not only save me $125, it could make me eligible for a card I will use. Current cards I'm eyeballing are the American Express Business Delta Reserve and Platinum cards. I have not officially chosen Delta over American, but getting one of those cards may be the tipping point. So at the end of the day, I still think this card is a great card for a large number of people, but I'm also not afraid to move on from a card that no longer brings me value. We only have so many credit card slots and we only have so much spend and we have to make sure we're getting the maximum value or at least an amount of value that we're comfortable with. I'm not a 100% math guy, but I do believe that I was not getting as much value from this card as I would a different card. Also, this being a business card, canceling it should not have any effect whatsoever on my personal credit. And as long as I'm not churning American Express cards, I don't expect this to have any negative effect on my relationship with American Express. I still spend quite a bit of money with Amex cards, and if I apply for another American Express card, it will likely have a substantial annual fee. So I don't think American Express is missing out too much with me canceling this one card. Now, guys, do you have any questions, comments? Go ahead and post them below. I also want to know what is your favorite hotel loyalty program? Also, guys, if you are Shopping online, I want to suggest a retail cashback shopping portal, Rakuten. The best part about Rakuten is it is a truly set it and forget it cashback shopping portal, but you can also opt to earn American Express membership rewards points in lieu of cashback. Use our link below and you'll get $30 cashback on your first purchase. And I also want to mention Scott's Cheap Flights. If you have never used Scott's Cheap Flights, I will be doing a video on them in the future, and this is absolutely not a sponsored video, but it is a service I do use. There is a link below. It is a paid service, but Scott's Cheap Flights will alert you of abnormally low airfare. I have used it. I recently booked a flight to Japan for $459. So it more than paid for my yearly subscription. So if you have a moment, check that out below. I don't know if there is any bonus for using the link below. I just have an invite link. But guys, if you have stayed around all the way to the end, thank you.